Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Monday, March 21st, 2022. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it looks like we have some circles on the grid today. They're all five letters long. Okay, let's start with one across. Actress Christina of the Adams Family. Yeah, that's Christina Ricci, right? She was Wednesday. Uncommon, that could be rare. Extra large movie format. That's IMAX, right? Workers blank on the job insurance. I think that's called workers comp. Short for workers compensation. Havana is its capital. That's Cuba. All right, let's see if we can get these acrosses here. French romance. That's amour, right? Classic Sylvester Stallone part. That's John Rambo. All right, we got to our first long across here. Let's see what this theme answer is. Greater responsibility, often as part of a promotion. Ooh, what would you call that? I think it's gonna probably start with expanded, maybe? Could it be an expanded role? Hmm, that gives us E-D-R-O-L. Well, that's Lord backwards. That's a singer, right? Lord? Hmm, I wonder if we have backwards singers as our theme today. That would be kind of interesting. Excavation site for a steel maker. Hmm, is that gonna be an iron mine? I think that makes sense. Furious could be mad. QB Marino, yeah, that's Dan Marino. He was the quarterback of the Miami Dolphins, the arch nemesis of my hometown Buffalo Bills. Yeah, I saw a lot of him. Suitable for all ages as a movie. That's gotta be rated G, right? Like many a summertime beverage? I think a lot of summertime beverages are iced. Cherished? I wonder if that could be deer? Latin therefore? That could be ergo, right? Like in cogito ergo sum. I think therefore I am. So we got a couple of things filled in here. Ride, amusement park attraction, yeah. And Acer. Taiwanese tech giant. Yeah, I have an Acer laptop. Okay, alfresco spot for a spot. Alfresco, what does that mean? Hmm, does it mean refreshing? I think they might be talking about a spot of tea here. Is it like a tea garden or something? I'm not sure what alfresco means. Certain tavern pours. That could be ales. Okay, it might be garden. Exposes as one's teeth or soul. You could bear your teeth or bear your soul, right? But because the clue is in this present tense, exposes, the answer has to be in the present tense too. So it's gonna be bears. Let's see if we can build off of that. Ink, oops. Could that be a blot, a blot of ink? Assistant, that should be an aid. Part of the eye that blinks, that's your eyelid. Poem of praise is an ode. It looks like it is gonna be tea garden. Count to blank, calming advice. Yeah, that's count to 10. Okay, it was tea garden. I hope the goose filled us in on exactly what alfresco means. Let's see what this next theme answer is here. Pointing out minuscule annoyances. I think you would call that picking nits. Yeah, so what does that leave us in our circles here? Sting backwards? Yeah, that's another singer, right? He used to be with the police. All right, I think we maybe have caught on to what's happening in this theme. It looks like we'll probably have a revealer though, so there might be some kind of clever phrase that ties this concept together. Spear-like weapons of medieval times. Okay, so this is weapons plural, so this needs to be in the plural also. 
Um, I think you could call those pikes. That's kind of a spear, right? Text from a waiting carpool driver. I think that has to be I'm here, right? Ooh, KH, that's a little unusual. String quartet instruments. Ooh, okay, so this is asking for instruments plural. So this answer needs to be plural. Um, is it gonna be cellos? Hmm, sometimes they give you the plural of cello as celli, but this might actually be cellos with an S at the end. Let's see, is this an O? Sign of a packed performance, yeah. This is going to be a very crosswordy entry. It's gonna be SRO, that stands for standing room only. That's an abbreviation that you see a lot on the crosswords. Yeah, so let's put in cellos here. Is this gonna be eels, congers, and mores? Yeah, those are two types of eels. And because they're asking and in the center here, they're asking for congers and mores. The answer needs to be plural because they're asking for two things. Okay, let me clarify. These quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. Um, I think I mean could be a good equivalent there. Evil organization on Get Smart. Ooh, I never watched Get Smart. Hmm, this looks really weird. Maybe it's not Pikes. What is this gonna be? Reality star sister of Kim and Courtney. Oh, no, it is right after all. Um, they all have those K names, don't they? It's gonna be Chloe, isn't it? Um, it's Chloe Kardashian. Let's see if I can spell this last name. Kardashian, is it like that? So what would that give us here? Drake? Yes, that's another singer. Excellent, we're definitely on the right track here. Dorky sorts could be nerds. Blank be my pleasure, it'd be my pleasure. Airport screening group. And we have an abbreviation in the clue, so that means our answer needs to be abbreviated. This is going to be the TSA, they check all of our bags, right? Flying saucer flyers in brief. Yeah, that could be extraterrestrials. Speed measure on European highways, that'll be kilometers per hour, right? Some sushi tuna, hmm, let's skip that one. Academics degree, that'll be a PhD. Let's fill in this section here. College game day broadcaster. That sounds like it's ESPN, doesn't it? Okay, pumpkin seed by another name. You can also call pumpkin seeds pepitas. Yeah, a pepita. Like diets that cut out bread and pasta. I guess that would be no carb. Oh my God, that would make me so sad. Okay, long time. That could be an eon. Org for pet rescue. That could be the SPCA. What do we have on the down here? Backyard building, that could be a shed. Grandmas, that could be nanas. Jordanian landmark described as a rose red city half as old as time. I think there's a city called Petra, if I'm not mistaken. Kellogg's breakfast cereal. I think they have a cereal called Special K, right? Yeah. All right, let's get this last backwards singer here. Goal of some core workouts. Well, we have abs here. Um, is it gonna be chiseled abs? Oh, that's a great entry. Nice. Okay, so what does that give us on the singer here? Adele. Excellent, Lord, Sting, Drake, Adele. They're all kind of like solo artists, right? Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna have anything to do with the revealer here. Let's work towards that. Blank Vegas, Nevada, that's Las Vegas. Spanish wife. Um, I guess you could call that esposa, right? Ooh, yeah, I think that's right. Anatomical pouch is a sack. Yes, we're learning some biology here. Cajole. Hmm, if you cajole someone, you're kind of haranguing them into doing something. 
It's not prod. What is this going to be? This in Spanish. Uh-oh. This could be a few different vowels here. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's going to be. This is going to be an S, though. Right? CS? That can't be right. What is this? Steakhouse option. Oh, no. Um, wait a minute. This is going to be esta or este, right? Okay, so this is going to be CA or CE or something like that. I'm not sure which vowel it's going to be. It's not carp, right? I don't think so. You know what? Why don't we take a look at the revealer because that would be very helpful here. Let's see if we can get that. One helping in a band or what can be found in each set of circled letters. Hmm, is it gonna be some kind of singer? Yeah, is it gonna be a backup singer? <laughs> That's so clever. Yeah, they're all backing up, they're backwards. A back up singer. That's so fun, what a nice revealer. Um, hmm, is it gonna be an O here? Cajole, hmm, I'm not sure what this is gonna be. Let's get some more crossing help. Industry bigwig. Is that gonna be a czar? I guess you could describe a bigwig as a czar, yeah. Blank Sabe, the Lone Ranger to Tonto. I think he called him Kimo Sabe, right? Leon Blank, Exodus author. Ooh, this is a tough one. I know I've seen this name before. I don't remember it. Let's get some help here. Novelist Kingsley. Oh my god, what a cross here. It's probably going to be Amos, right? Um, I don't know what else it could be. Civil Rights Icon Parks. <laughs> That's Rosa Parks. Man, we have all our proper nouns kind of crammed into this little section here. What is this long across? Rigorous email management strategy? Yeah, that's inbox zero. Uh... Oh, this is gonna be Coax. Ooh, that was a tough one to see. Okay, so this is gonna be Esto then. Excellent. Alter promise, when you're getting married, you say, I do. Catch in the act, is that gonna be nab? Like you'd nab a criminal? Dude is definitely gonna be bro. Dagnabbit, another equivalent phrase. This is a fun word here. I think that could be darn. Not quite as colorful of a word there. Reedy wind instrument. Yeah, that's gonna be oboe. Excellent. All right, let's finish off this corner here. What glasses rest on? They rest on your nose. Color of an overcast sky. That'll be gray. I'm gonna guess it's an A here, just based on that LS that I'm seeing on the across. Blank brute. This is gonna be Latin at two Brute, right? That was supposedly what Caesar said when he was assassinated. Okay, vital artery, that'll be the aorta. Exams for aspiring attorneys in brief. Yeah, those are the law school admission tests. Really energize. It looks like that should be key up, right? So this is gonna be rasp, carpenter's file, ooh. Yeah, that's a tough one. It's a kind of a specialized tool. Yeah, it's like a big woodworking file, a rasp. All right, let's throw that P in there and see if that'll do it for us. Oh, grr, we have a square wrong. Let me see if I can track this down. Ooh, I wonder if it's at this tricky crossing here. It probably is. I was thinking it was Amos, um, and this is Euros. That looks a little weird. I wonder if it could be Leon Uris. Um, that seems a little more plausible to me. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that name before. I don't recognize Euros, so I think an I is actually the correct vowel here. That would leave us with Amos Kingsley, A-M-I-S. Oh man. This is a very dicey cross here. I feel like everything else in this grid was super smooth, but yeah, this is very tricky, Amos. 
I don't even know if I've seen that as a name before. Amos is so much more of a common name. Wow. All right. Well, let's throw that I in there and see if that will, in fact, do it for us. All right. Nice. A Monday puzzle in 18 minutes. We still finished in very good time, even considering this kind of proper noun trouble we had in this little section here. Yeah, I think this is the only blemish on this otherwise really delightful puzzle. I really liked this theme a lot. I love this revealer backup singer. And then we had four singers that are literally backing up through everyday phrases. We had Adele hidden in chiseled abs. I think Adele might have some chiseled abs at this point. We have Drake hidden inside Khloe Kardashian. Are they friends? I wonder if they know each other. We had Sting hidden in Picking Knits and Lord hidden in Expanded Roll. Yeah, these are all really nice theme answers too, just kind of on their own. I really liked Chiseled Abs and Picking Knits. Those are very nice long pieces of fill. I also liked Pepita. That's a fun entry. And Inbox Zero is a pretty cool phrase too. It's kind of a modern concept. And I loved this cozy little tea garden, a spot for a spot. Yeah, that's a nice clue there. Oh, what did this turn out to be? We didn't look at this. It was chaos. Oh man, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of punny, appropriate for a Monday crossword. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed being my backup singer on this Monday puzzle sol. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.